praise, praise, praise the Lord. Ha, ha, hallelujah. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Ha, ha, hallelujah. It is my year of breaking limits. That is also my portion in Christ. Wow, children, you're welcome to today's Sunday service. Thank Today, you. thank you. Today is the second Sunday in the month of November. And we are grateful to God for bringing us to the 11th month. Are we not grateful? Yes. So can we tell Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can't hear you. Thank you, Jesus. Very good. Last week was our Variety Sunday. And you know, I'm sure you guys enjoyed the activities of last week's Sunday. Did you enjoy the activities? Yes. And what about the quiz? Were you able to answer the questions? Yes. Children online, I hope you to answer the questions and you sent your answers to the numbers on the screen. Be sure that we are going to get back to you with your gift. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, who can tell me the theme of this month of November? Everybody, we should be able to say, can we all say it? Praise, Praise facilitate fulfillment, fulfillment of prophecy. You need to speak it louder so that the children at home can hear you one more time. Praise facilitate the fulfillment of prophecy. And our anchor scripture can be found in the book of Romans chapter 4 from verse 17 to 20. One more time. Romans chapter 4 verse 17 to 20. In these few verses, the Bible tells us about our covenant father Abraham. God promised him that he was going to be the father of nations. But at the age of close to 100 years, and his wife, Sarah, close to 90 years, they didn't even have any child. But at, at that age, Abraham still believed God, and he never doubted his promises. The Bible recorded that Abraham was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He was so sure that God, who promised, was able to keep his promises. And guess what, children? What auntie? Guess what? What auntie? Because Abraham kept trusting God and praising God, God gave him what he promised him. Children, can you tell me what did God give Abraham? Or who did God give Abraham? Isaac. Isaac. And through Isaac, Abraham became the father of nations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So once more, can we say the theme of the month? Praise facilitate fulfillment of prophecy. Yes, and throughout this month, we are going to be considering a very interesting topic called push. Can somebody say push? Push. Children, can you tell me what push stands for? Praise, Praise until, until something happens. You didn't say it like you mean it. Praise until something happens. Okay, what do you understand by that topic? Praise until something happens what does it mean it means that we should keep on praising god until we get our miracle until you get your miracle you don't stop praising god a sound clap for him yes what does push mean praise until something happens and what is the meaning of praise until something happens pray pray and pray until god gives you what you want he said praise Praise and praise until God gives you what you wow. want. Awesome. A sound clap for him also. So today, we are going to be considering the topic, what is praise? Can somebody say that? What is praise? And also, we will look at why praise is necessary. Okay, but before we go on, let's take our Bible verse. It is taken from the book of Psalm 92, verse one children open your bibles children at home you to please open your bibles to psalm 92 verse 1. loudly can we read out now yes one to go psalm 92 verse 1. it is a good thing to give thanks unto the lord and to sing praises unto the name o most high psalm 92 verse 1. And this reminds me of a beautiful song. Can we sing it together? It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I can't hear you. It, it is good to praise the Lord 
Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Children at home, let's turn our Bible verse into song. Join us. One to go. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, children, it is a good thing to praise God. We saw it in the life of Abraham. He kept praising God and until he got the promise. We will also see in our Bible story today, which is taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, from verse 1 to 25. I want you to write it down. Children, you too, please write it down so that you can study that passage later. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, from verse 1 to 25. So the story goes like this. Three nations, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the people of Mount Seir, they gathered together to battle against Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah. When Jehoshaphat heard, he was so afraid. Why won't he be afraid? The whole three nations gathered together to say, we are going to deal with you, Jehoshaphat, and you, the people of Judah. He was afraid. But do you know what to do? He gathered everybody and said, please, let us fast and pray to God to help us. And as they did that, the Spirit of the Lord rested upon Jahaziel, the priest. And God told Jehoshaphat and the whole of Judah not to be afraid. He told them, just stand still and see the wonders of God. What did God tell Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah? Stand still and see the wonders of God. So, early in the morning, Jehoshaphat selected singers who went before the uh, army and all they were saying was praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever they kept saying praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever what were the singers saying praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord for his mercies endures forever I didn't hear that one more time praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord for his mercies endures forever, forever. Children, can you imagine? It sounds foolish, right? For an army to go to battle without weapons, but with singers praising God with musical instruments. It sounds foolish, right? But guess what happened? While the children of God were praising God, God entered into the camp of the enemy and he made all the, the enemies of Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah to be killing each other. They killed each other until no one remained. By the time Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah got into the camp, they met everyone dead. All they could see were dead bodies. And Jehoshaphat and his army, they just kept carrying spoils. They were just carrying goods, gold, jewelry, riches, silver. And they did this for three days. What a fantastic way to win battle. That is what push means. Praise until something happens. happens. Now, children, what do you think provoked this divine intervention? What provoked it? Because they were praising God. Praise. It was praise that provoked this divine intervention. So, children, do you mean that by praising God, one can win a battle? Yes. Uh -uh. You mean by praising God, one can have fulfillment of prophecy? Yes. Really? Do you mean that by living a life of praise, you can become who God wants you to become in life? Yes. yes. Wow. In that case, I want you to say loudly. Say, God works wonders through praise. God works wonders through praise. Okay. I want you to face your neighbor now and say, push. Push. I didn't hear you. Push. And push stands for praise until something happens. Now, children, what do you understand by the word praise? What does praise mean? 
Yes, what does praise mean? Praise means giving gratitude to God. Praise means giving gratitude to God. A sound clap for him. Yes, what is praise? Praise means celebrating God for who he is. Celebrating him for who he is. A sound clap for her. Yes, what is praise? Praise is a weapon of warfare. Praise is a spiritual weapon of warfare. We saw it in that story, didn't we see it? Yes. Instead of guns and swords and the machine guns, all they used was praise, praise. And they got the victory. Okay, so children, why do you think it is necessary to praise God? Why is it necessary to praise God? Yes? Because God deserves praise. God deserves our praise. He is worthy to receive our praise. And that reminds me of a song in Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. It goes like this. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Join me, children, if you know the song. To receive glory, honor, and power. For thou art created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. And there's another one. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. I can't hear you. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. It is necessary we praise God because He deserves our praise. A sound clap for Him. Yes. Why is it necessary to praise God again? It is necessary to praise God because it is a commandment. It is a commandment. God commanded that the work of his hands should praise him. That's the reason why he created us. A sound clap for her. Yes? Why is it necessary to praise God? We should praise God because it is a good thing to do. Yes, it is a good thing to do. Like we realize in our Bible verse, Psalm 92 verse. Wow. Very good. Therefore, I have an assignment for you. And it's a very simple assignment. Throughout this month of November, we are going to be praising God every day for a minimum of 10 minutes. How many minutes did I say? 10 minutes. I can't hear you. 10 minutes. Children at home, you to take note of that assignment. We are going to be praising God throughout this month of November for a minimum of 10 minutes. If you can go beyond 10, above 10 minutes, that's very good. But know that it is our responsibility to praise God. Because he deserves our praise. praise. Are you not excited about that? Yes. Can you put your hands together for yourselves? <laughs> if you're listening to me today and you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, the Bible says the praise of a sinner is an abomination to God. All you need to do for your praise to be acceptable is to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You just need to say this simple prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Please forgive me my sins. Please forgive me my sins. Today I accept you. Today I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. As my Lord and personal Savior. Come and dwell in my heart. Come and dwell in my heart. And let my praise be acceptable to you. And let my praise be acceptable to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Children, can we put hands together for those that just received Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior? <laughs> Children, if you just said this salvation prayer, please type yes to the number showing on the screen so that we can reach out to you and help you in your doing work of faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Children, remember our assignment. Again, what's the assignment? We are going to be praising God every day for a minimum of 10 minutes. Please make sure you do this and you will see the fulfillment of every promise God has said to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
It is my year of breaking limits. That is also my portion in Christ. Congratulations. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen.